Hey guys, it's a sunny day out here in Canberra. I'm out here on one of our subdivision sites. What we're looking at here is some excavation work that we're currently doing for our sewer services. So we have our finished surface design tin loaded up as well as our hydraulic services. If I change the design tin transparency, we can start to see the actual sewer trench excavation that's been done so far. If I change the transparency back, and start adjusting our cross-sectional view, we can start to see where the hydraulic services sit in relation to the job. In front of us here, we can see the sewer in red, which is showing the manholes and the lines, and the stormwater in green, and we can see the sump and some of the stormwater lines. Site vision is a very handy tool to have in our arsenal. It enables us to see where everything sits in real time and space. We can also turn off our design tin, and this enables us to see only our hydraulic services. So now we can see all of our hydraulics and where they sit in relation to the job and this allows us to check for any clashing services. I've selected the cut fill measurement function using the EDM, the electronic distance measurer. If I place the crosshairs on the ground in front of me and press the EDM button, it shows a cut fill measurement of cut 20 mil. This is pretty good considering I've asked our grader to cut this section of road about 20 to 30 mil high. This way we can come back and bulk the road pavement out. We're currently utilizing a GCS 900 machine control system, which proves to be very reliable and accurate. I'm here up on the hill, standing in one of our large cuts within our subdivision. We've been ripping and cutting material out of the side of this hill with a D8 dozer and some open bowl scrapers over the last few days. As you can see, we've cut probably around three meters of this hill through this section. The cut through this section averages between five to six meters at its deepest, which is one of the deepest sections of cut through this job. Here I'm standing just inside the block boundary next to one of our roads. We can start to see the tops of the stormwater pits and sewer manholes, and we can also start to see some of our pipes sitting underground. I'll switch off our design tin. This will show us the hydraulics that have to be installed through this hill. We can see a green stormwater line down in the distance. This is a large trunk stormwater line running through the road where the red crosshairs are. There's approximately four kilometers of sewer line to be installed on this job and roughly the same of stormwater. As I pan around, we can see the scale of all the hydraulic services that have to be installed on this job. <laughs> 